If me finishing this show in a day and a half isn't convincing enough, then I don't know what is. It'd be me discussing the show that y'all probably haven't seen, but need to watch so that we can discuss it. And it's so good. It's just so, it's that good um, that I'm freaking out about it. I had to tell you about it. Hello everyone, welcome back to Cat Raquel Books. I'm Catherine, and today is another episode of Freak Out Friday. Okay, so I'm actually filming this on Monday for Friday, so you will see this on Friday. Anyway, so I'm filming this because last night, well, okay, Sunday night I started watching uh, this show called Bitten on Netflix. And if you have seen it or heard of it, if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about if you like that kind of thing. But if you haven't seen it, um, or maybe you've just, you know, come across the title on Netflix, and I, it, I believe it comes out on the Sci-Fi channel. If you've just come across it and you've never seen it, watch it because it is freaking amazing. So this TV show actually relates to books. This show is based on the Women of the Otherworld series by Kelly Armstrong, who also wrote the two YA trilogies. Uh, the Darkest Powers Trilogy and the Darkest the Darkness Rising Trilogy, which I dearly love. know that it was based on that, but then when I found out about it, I knew I had to watch it. Bitten is about werewolves, if you couldn't tell already by the title. Most of the time, werewolves are usually both men and women, but in this series, no woman has ever survived the change. And that is where Elena Michaels comes in. Elena Michaels is the only female werewolf in existence. All Elena wants is to live a normal life in Toronto, and has for four years until the alpha pack leader, Jeremy, calls her and tells her that there is a rogue werewolf on the loose that is um, murdering people and calls her for her help. They're basically werewolves that have gone rogue, and if you don't know what that means, it basically means that they don't follow the rules, so in this show they're actually called mutts, uh, which I thought that was pretty cool, I guess. I mean, I've never heard a werewolf called a mutt. Knowing that she is the best tracker, she decides to venture out to Stonehaven House one last time. She hasn't been around there for four years, she hasn't been around the pack members or any one, well except for one who also lives in Toronto trying to live a normal life. Um, but she ventures out there and says, okay, you know, I'll help out just only because Jeremy called me. Jeremy's basically like a father figure to her. Elena thinks that once the work is done, she will go back to her normal life, never have to show up there again, life with her wonderful, loving, normal boyfriend. But that is not the case. Unfortunately, a life of normalcy is nowhere in her near future. Okay, so that was the formal, I guess, uh, synopsis of this show. And let me just tell you, I can't even, okay. So, um, I had no idea what Bitten was about, except that it was about werewolves, obviously. Um, and so I just came across it on Netflix. I thought, you know, well, what the heck, I'm not doing anything. I'm laying here in bed, just watching Gossip Girl. I came across it. I was like, you know what, let me see what this show is about. Okay, well, little did I know that it was for mature audiences, which means it's, it's an adult show, kind of like True Blood, I guess. There is a lot of nudity in it, um, and adult scenes, but I think that it's okay if you skip over it. Like, if you're mature about it, I guess, um, if you don't mind. I would think that if you're mature enough, um, cause I'm, I mean, I'm, I guess I'm mature with that kind of thing. I mean, I just skip over it and it's, you know, whatever. If you're uncomfortable watching that kind of thing, I mean, I don't watch it, like I said, I skip over it, but if you're uncomfortable watching something like that, then I would suggest not watching it. Other scenes where there's a little bit of nudity is when they change from their human form to a werewolf and then back into a werewolf. Obviously they can't change into a werewolf uh, with their clothes on because then they'll rip and they won't have any clothes when they change back. So, um... What they do is they do take their clothes off and then you end up seeing their bare butts. I feel like that's not that big of a deal, so I, like that's not something I haven't seen before. A lot of comedy movies have that, but if you don't like that then I would suggest not watching this show. So I did not know that and <laughs> first scene, 
an adult scene and I was like oh okay um did not see that coming I'm gonna turn this off I was like you know what no let me just see what this is all about so cool and I was like no you know what I can skip over those parts whatever let's just go for it I'm so glad I watched the show I watched four episodes uh, Sunday night and then I binge watched if you saw my tweet this morning I tweeted at like 6 in the morning which is another reason that I look like this um, yeah I don't know what my hair is doing back there I have been in bed all day because I stayed up all night long from 9.30 at night to 6.30 in the morning I finished the first season of Bitten uh, there are only 13 episodes this season but like 9 hours I, I watched 9 episodes and I only took a couple of breaks and that was to get up and get a water and another time I was like you know what let me take a little break and then I was like no I have to get back to Bitten because it's so good and I thought it was I was so worried that it was gonna end on a cliffhanger um, it was gonna be like the Vampire Diaries but it didn't exactly it's sort of I mean, it was a little cliffhanger I guess um, but not a huge one so I'll be able to live for six months until it comes back on in January I'm so glad they got picked up for season 2 because I don't know what I would do without this show. I was immediately hooked. Yeah, when I when I finished that last episode, I was in shock at first and I was like, oh my gosh, you know, that happened, what? And then I realized, okay, so what now? What is my, what am I going to do with my life now? <laughs> what, what am I supposed to do? So let's talk about the plot now. The plot is incredible. The acting is, I would say the acting is really good. Um, the guys are not bad looking. This show is definitely not lacking in the action department. It is so action packed, action, action, action. Especially in those last few episodes, I would say. And there's even romance, of course, because what's a show without romance? If me finishing this show in a day and a half isn't convincing enough, then I don't know what is. Because this show is so good, it's so amazing. I'm so like immersed in it now and I don't even know what to do anymore because it's over. So yeah, like I said, uh, by the time you're watching this, I like four days since I finished it. I finished this Monday. I was going to put spoilers in this, um, just, you know, talking about my thoughts on the show. I think I'll do that. I'll save that for another video. Just because this one will probably be a little long already and I don't want it to be a 10 minute video, um, especially when probably more than half of it will just be me discussing the show that y'all probably haven't seen but need to watch so that we can discuss it and it's so good it's just so it's that good um, that I'm freaking out about it I had to tell you about it and I will probably rewatch the season uh, not now but probably later on um, but yeah it's definitely uh, rewatch worthy if that makes sense that's basically it for this episode of Freak Out Friday. Let me know in the comments down below if you've seen Bitten. If you have, please, I need to discuss it. Um, and also, if you haven't seen it, watch it so that we can discuss it. That's pretty much it, like I said. I hope you'll have an amazing weekend, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!